Hi guys, today I will show you how to create some cool and amazing text effect in After Effects that will make your video look more attractive and engaging. I will be walking you through 10 text effects that will instantly elevate your video style. First, start with basic and perfect setting of deep glow like this. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go to the effect panel, search deep glow. Drag it onto your layer. Go to effect control. Enhance the radius such as 300. Exposure 0 0.80. And enable the check mark the save card for text. Now our drop shadow. Opacity of 200 Distance 0 Softness 10 Duplicate the drop shadow, Ctrl plus D and the softness 20 You can see the finished result The next text effect Tracking and Bevel and Emboss Tracking look like this And Bevel and Emboss look like this Select your text, go to the animation, animation text and tracking. Set a keyframe for tracking amount. Go to wherever you want to end the tracking and increase the tracking amount to 10. Tracking is ready. Now go to bevel and emboss. Click layer, layer styles, bevel and boss, size up to 7, 6, choose a color and add deep glow and drop shadow. It is finished. The next text fake gradient ram is to look something like this. So that's Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Such gradient ram, then add. Drag it over the deep glow effect. We have these two little dots that we have to pull closer to the text. Add white color on the start color, otherwise add color as per your choice. And also add color on the end color. Adjust accordingly and it is ready. The next text effect I will show you is texture noise symbols. It's something like this. Add to the text, select light color and choose your color. Now go to the layer, apply bevel and emboss. Precompose the text. Add deep glow and drop shadow. Now it is done. The next text effect explosive. This works like this. Add to the layer. Press U on your keyboard. You can see the all your keyframe. If you want to move the effect forward or backward, this would be to move the keyframe back and forth. And that's it. The next effect I will show you handwriting. It's something look like this. Setting new, huh? What we have to do is click on to the pen tool and zoom in. Select the text and we have to draw a max around over character for each character. Now start the maxing of left side.
April Maxine, go to effect panel, set stroke and apply. Enable the check mark next to all marks. Now click on the original image next to print style. Select reveal original image. Brush size 16. The brush size depends how thick you want your text. Now start the animation. End value 0. Add a keyframe in start. Go for 2 seconds. Set value to 100. Press U and select both of keyframe. Press F9 easy is them. Open graph and copy my graph setting. Apply deep glow and drop shadow and gradient. Adjust the color as you like. Now it is ready. The next effect is CC1 frame, something like that. Add to the text and take about the deep glow effect. Go ahead one second and add to keyframe in burn. Again move forward one second and set value 100%. If you want to fade in, you have to do it the opposite direction. And guys, you can also make it more amazing. First duplicate the text layer, select the bottom layer, remove with deep glow and drop shadow. Search fill. Add to the bottom layer, choose a color and it's ready. The next effects I will show you subtle, for example, add to the text layer. Click wireframe plus forces and select render. Next open up the shape and put the pattern from wix to glass. Now open force 1. Then go ahead on your timeline to where I want this animation to start. Like I want to start the animation from 1 second head. Add a keyframe and set 0.40 to 0. Now where you want your animation to be finished, let's say 2 seconds and radius set 1 You can see these piece are pretty big, so we for reputation to set 50 Now it is look good and as detail too And open physics and set mesh variance 30 to 0 Now it is ready The next effect is texture spot. It's something look like this. Add to the text layer and change frequency to 8 to 15. Radius set to and set the warp speed x to 480 to 100. After that change the color 1 to whatever you want. To color zeros, change the color used in color 1 should be similar but should be dark. Now duplicate the text layer, Ctrl plus D and delete the edge texture spot over the text layer. Then change the text to stroke text and make sure the stroke width is 1. Click in the text layer below and apply bevel and emboss. Side set to 7 Recompose both text layer And add deep glow and drop shadow Now you can see your text defect is ready Now this is the last and final effect as texture cell It is very easy and looks something like this And make you wrong
add to the text layer and change the color one to which color do you like brightness one set to 0 0.8 and add deep blue and drop shadow You can also use it like this, but to make it better, enable invert check mark, then duplicate the text layer, select the text layer below and change whatever color you want in color 1. Now this text effect is ready. I hope this video will be helpful for you and thank you for watching see you in the next video